Now we will go ahead with the most awaited gate question paper setting pattern. <coughs> what is the secret behind it? And uh, in what way do those gate people set this gate question paper which is setting apart from all other uh, competitive examinations? Like you, have, like you all know, all the PSUs right now, but all the public sector units like this 2019 more than 45 PSUs were uh, recruiting through this gate exam. So how do they set this paper and how do they set their standards? So we will just analyze all those stuff in a subject by subject manner. Particularly inside subject will go inside each topic. Now uh, today we will be seeing engineering mechanics topic. Okay. Before going into it, we will let you know how are we going to analyze and how are we going to crack the secret of this gate question paper setting pattern. Fine. This particular concept is about uh, gate question paper setting pattern. More than that, first thing which serves you like will be giving you a PDF. Uh, just in the description, you can have a link so that you can go over there, download the PDF. It will serve you as serve as a question mark to you. Like for example, inside a particular topic, you could get um, almost all the questions. Even if you take up any uh, high-end coaching centers, if you take up their uh, question max all papers, they will not have covered almost all the questions. But in this particular PDF, you would have, have you would have actually almost all the questions inside that particular topic for more than 30 years actually so that particular thing it will serve you for so a question bank for you next thing is uh, various kinds of questions will be coming un under a particular topic it might be practically related it might be directly uh, theorem related uh, derivation derivation related so it can be of any kind like uh, do, do they have uh, they would have set some standards apart so that Many people will find it difficult to answer the questions and uh, some concepts would have to derive it from the 6th standard, 7th standard physics and all those stuff you will have to know what kind of questions is being asked, what kind of knowledge do I require to solve those questions inside a particular topic. This is what we are going to give. This is the whole way we are going to give uh, in this particular video. Fine. Do you think is there any use of this? What is the use of analyzing and uh, making and uh, making my time spend over here? And uh, if I'm going to spend, for example, uh, 10 to 15 minutes reading this book, will it be effective? Will it be useful to be my any instance? Absolutely yes. Because by making and uh, by going through all these questions, you'll be knowing what, how are they setting the standards, how are they developing them each year? Because gate questions way back uh, 20 years is not the same as now in gate 2019. You'll know the difference in what way are they setting their standards. So that people are finding it very difficult to crack gate exam and day by day it's increasing its popularity. Fine. One more important thing is it is useful for all types of uh, gate aspirants. If you take up this important topic concept, you all know that important topic is only for the people who want to just qualify. Sir, I want to just crack this gate exam, I want to just qualify so that I could get into some M Tech colleges with a stipend. Many people have this ideology. But we have some people who aim for this All India Rank 100. All India Rank less than 100 I should aim for, uh, I am aiming for All India Rank 1. For all those people also, this would be a very good important source so that you could just predict what kind of questions might be coming in the upcoming gate? Uh, whether are they planning to ask? Uh, you will be able to come up with uh, knowledge like are they planning to ask practically, or do they have some other concepts so that we could uh, they could make a trickier question? All those stuff you will be knowing and you can be able to analyze it. This is for all the people. Next is you can utilize your time. You can just spend your time on a particular concept so that you can utilize your time, work on your strength as well as on your weakness and uh, one more important thing as i said earlier in the before slide it is obviously a gate question bank under a particular topic which is more exclusive for any means fine now let's uh, rather than going in rather than having a bigger story let's dive into the topic i will just uh, go into the question bank the pdf which i'm going to give you as a description so you can read it out once you have it. So first question, uh, we can have it from this particular uh, gate 1995. Uh, this is a diagram. Uh, let me just uh, let me just zoom zoom out so that you could see it very easily. First thing, first thing we need to know is this is a spring scale. Uh, this is actually a spring scale, and if you could see. 
uh, the question over here let me zoom out a little bit so that you could see the question on the whole spring scale indicates a tension t over here in the right hand of the cable pulley system shown in the figure below neglecting the mass of the pulleys and ignoring the friction between the cable and the pulleys over here uh, the mass m what is the weight of the mass m it's going to be very very easy just take out this uh, mass m and draw the free body diagrams you would have 1 2 and 3 uh, equating with mass m so this is t and this also said it has a tension t and this is going to be 2t since we have two cables over here so t plus t plus 2t is going to be 4t by g it's going to be option c so this is very much simple in the first question uh, after we have given an extensive search on a particular topic trusses and frames so then to solve this question like we have uh, made up with what are the topics you need to know to solve a particular question so here you need to know the free body diagram and the equilibrium concept we need to know it's going to be in equilibrium right so if all the three cables directly connected with the mass should be equal to the mass obviously obviously otherwise it would not be in a equilibrium position fine so this is the 1994 uh, reactions like free body diagram question next we'll go on to uh, yeah this is one important question like 8 1997 and uh, isro 2005 both of them have asked the same data same question it's quite rare but yeah it is mass of 35 kg is suspended from weightless bar ab which is supported by a cable cb and a pin at a shown in the figure pin at a this is a pin joint pin reactions at a and b on the bar pin reactions at a on the bar a b r so you should have no a x and a y over here so here uh, as you all know Dublin academy like stresses more on Lamis theorem this is more important more powerful theorem which will be used to solve any kind of complicated questions too now like uh, you have a mass over here so that you could know the value 35 kg so we have a force we have three force joint over here on the point b apply Lamis theorem you will get a force on the ab once you know the force on the ab we have three unknowns on the point a ay ax and force of ab get the answer and uh, solve the question so for this you need to know how to draw a free body diagram of the weightless bar you need to know Lamis theorem you need to know uh, equilibrium concept even for the reaction for a pin joint how many reactions are there you could be able to get it from our uh, previous pdf2 okay that would have solved many kind of gate questions and for you could uh, even use this method of sections cut between a uh, method of sections or method of joints actually uh, so that you could be able to solve this uh, particular question okay so to solve this you need to know free body diagram so you need to know what is the free body diagram which might come for point a so that we should have ax and ay and we have uh, tension t in the cable and next which is Lamy's theorem obviously next is equilibrium concept we need to know uh, in what way does it achieve this equilibrium position and reactions and supports for example if you want to solve it using other method you could use method of joints or method of sections is up to you fine so this is one of a question this is like we could uh, term it to be a moderate level of uh, toughness uh, for the beginners it might be difficult but for the experts it's going to be a piece of cake for sure fine uh, we'll go into the third question gate 2000 and for the people who are uh, hot enough to prepare for this gate 2019 would we'll be shocked to see this question because we had the same question in 2019 uh, almost the same in which we have a force p pulling over here in this particular question but uh, in gate 2019 we had some kind of inertial force uh, offered by air or something of that sort and rest of the things are same as you all know gate tends to repeat the concepts and not the question itself fine automobile of weight w shown in the figure pull p is applied as shown reaction of the front wheel at location is what is the reaction over here in this uh, location this is what uh, they have asked for just uh, take out the fixed part and draw the free body diagram we have what this is a roller support obviously vertical reaction vertical reaction self weight w and an external force p so totally we have four so just solve it vertically we will get uh, a y plus a y plus b y equal to w and uh, for horizontal this uh, p is going to be nothing but what we require is the reaction of the front wheel of the location what is the r a what is r a y uh, reaction at a so we could take moments about b so w into a then uh, a y into 2 a then uh, p into b so you will get the answer so it's going to be very very easy and uh, as i said earlier this is one of the 
trickier concept we could say because till now we haven't learned anything practically okay this might be quite difficult for the people who haven't applied anything uh, in the practical scenario but once they get used to it they could be able to solve this as easy as as easy as that so almost this is going to make you a real engineer obviously <coughs> this is what gate is doing for the past uh, three decades i could guess fine to solve this is going to be really easy you need to know free body diagram equilibrium reactions and support and just a logic so that you could apply all your knowledge on your practical uh, consideration that that is the most important thing so first question what we saw was oh, one second yeah first question what we saw was just using uh, free body diagram of mass m second what we saw was using this particular question in which we need to know fbd free body diagram we need to know the mass m and all those stuff third question again we go back to the 1994 pattern after uh, particular 6 years we had only this particular question from this particular topic okay so even this we need to know only basics fbd free body diagram equilibrium and reactions and supports fine uh, we are from turbulent academy and turbulent academy is offering uh, exclusive mechanical courses for gate exam preparation and uh, we have been running this successfully so you could come over here and uh, join like you could get uh, guidance from my experts like you can watch our youtube channel so that you could know how do we teach and even like for example we offer a 60% refund of uh, the payment uh, the details of which which is going to be at the end of the pdf you could download so you could even get the counseling after gate exam once you join over here just get to exposed to this expert faculty the batches are in progress so join as early as possible we cover up two times uh, we cover uh, the syllabus whole syllabus two times in the 10 months course fine so now coming back uh, to the question so this is the real uh, trusses and frames problem this is the truss actually uh, we have got into the main topic trusses and frames and but this is going to be a quite uh, complicated for the beginners because Uh, till now what you have seen is uh, drawing of fpd uh, making out the reactions and uh, applying a lamis theorem and you could do all the stuff but as of now in this question applying lamis theorem will won't work because lamis theorem will only come to a point or can be applied to a point where only three forces are acting but uh, they have asked for the members force in the member cd which is this actually uh, cd like for example uh, we have uh, 1 2 3 4 5 joints over here in the c and 1 2 3 4 4 joints in the point d so you can't apply lamis theorem only way to do is applying the method of section cut it over here okay so then you can be able to solve this question this is one of the complicated question yeah we do expect this kind of questions from gate this is not a piece of cake every time but they do provide us with a piece of cake even sometimes they come up with the concepts that's what we say we can't stick to one particular concept so from the four questions which we saw earlier this was the toughest one which, which we could ever see because you should know the method of sections you should know all the concepts as well as method of section this was a quite a new topic for the year 2001 for the 2001 if people would have studied only the previous cs paper which comes like this this and this this would be totally uh, a new concept this is how they gate people set their standards uh, they come up with something which haven't been asked before that's the important most important thing which we can uh, get as a lesson from this particular uh, analysis fine to solve this as i said earlier you need fbd equilibrium re re uh, reactions and supports and obviously method of joints or method of sections now as we have said you earlier gate tends to repeat the concepts and not the questions so they have given the same truss almost almost the same truss with the different alphabets but they have re replaced the point load with the udl and it's going to be really simple because of the uh, because of the fact uh, you could just take out this supports and give some free body diagram you would have a three force joint on point b once you get on the uh, once you get apply lamis theorem and get a force on fbd you could apply lamis theorem on point d and get the final answer which is cd so this is going to be really simple if you know the lamis theorem and its importance fine so right now we have seen again i'll go back i'll make some uh, study so first question second question almost equal to this is almost equal to truss this is just a fbd and equilibrium almost equal to truss fbd equilibrium fbd equilibrium truss along with method of sections fbd equilibrium truss lamis theorem okay now we'll see one more important questions one more important question way back in uh, gate 
so this is gate 2004 actually like for example we have a simple truss in which we have uh, two uh, two triangles like one k o l n uh, no it's not a triangle actually so so n l m which is a triangle and we have uh, same thing like we don't have any other data on it actually we don't possess any kind of data from this question just we have mass m just we have roller joint this thing and all those stuff to solve this in any equation like what angle is it coming in what angle is it coming in what angle this is going we need to know some values like length of the bar angle or something of that sort if nothing is given like we will have to assume as such like ko km is going to be of same length and it's going to be 45 degrees if it's 45 degrees apply lamis theorem 45 45 270 so you could get a force from uh, this particular point apply lamis theorem on point m apply lamis theorem on point n get the answer it's going to be really simple but you'll have to apply a bit common sense because this kind of questions we haven't seen before just see the questions which you're facing every time this kind of question most of the questions which we saw now haven't been seen before that's the most important thing which you need to analyze next is get 2006 like we have said in Turkland Academy we stress more importance on Lamy's theorem see just the Lamy's theorem question itself is a Lamy's theorem apply Lamy's theorem get the answer solve it and you can gain two marks or one marks depending upon the paper fine see power of Lamy's theorem this is gate 2008 and uh, many people say one of the toughest paper in gate history is gate 2008 set by IASC Bangalore uh, they would have given us really an awesome paper for all the people for all the acad academicians and uh, many people loved enjoyed solving this gate 2008 paper and uh, get to know like how much <coughs> importance a two mark question this is actually a two mark question how much important will it be so we have a pin support two reactions roller support one reaction apply Lamy's theorem they have asked for the force on QR <coughs> just straight you can get a force value on QR and start solving see this is going to be really easy man once you are going to go through you are going to gain confidence yeah this is gate welcome gate so many people know about uh, gate like the many people say gate is tough you can't clear it as such it's, you can't clear it in one year some people say I can clear it in one year I have cleared it in two months three months and all the stuff goes on where does the gate stand where does it give the tricky questions is this one if you could see over here uh, just read the question i'll read it once for you a uniform a uniform rigid rod of mass m and length l is hinged at one end as shown in the adjacent figure a force p is applied at a distance of 12 by 3 from the hinge so that the rod swings to the right this rod swings to the right like this okay <coughs> The reaction at the hinge reaction at this point is going to be what this is what uh, it, this might this is what they have asked and this might seem like normal reaction question but it is not man you need to know rotational dynamics you need to know angular acceleration of an hinged rod <coughs> all the stuff comes into play it might seem like a normal question we could uh, think of anything but it doesn't come in that way this is how gate sets its standards you can't just answer the question depending upon the knowledge of previous years they have come up with totally a new concept and even if you could take this particular question under the topic of rotational dynamics you didn't have this kind of questions this is the first and foremost question which we had and uh, at that time it was really a difficult question now uh, people have come across this and if the gate people again want to set some new standard they will come up with a new concept uh, from the concept which haven't been asked before okay so this is one of the important thing like uh, for this you need to know angular motion of hinge rod or tangential acceleration of hinge rod so you should know what does this particular concept to solve this particular question okay one more important thing is like uh, if you want to get all India rank 100 uh, less than 100 you need to know almost you need to cover almost all the syllabus from gate exam because we, we might not expect from which question are they going to ask if they if they are planning to set some tough questions they are going to take it from a new concept and uh, they are going to give us as trickier as possible so that is very difficult for the people to gain full marks fine now again like uh, gate 2020 class and question is on process in turbulent academy you could get more details on our website www.turbulentacademy.com fine so next is question number uh, 10 in our uh, pdf which is gate 2012 question so this might also seem like a simple question first question is going to be really really simple apply normal Lamy's theorem at point c solve it and get the answer next is 
maximum force F uh, in kilo newton can be which can be applied at C so that axial stress in any of the truss members does not exit 100 mega pascal should not exist 100 mega pascal so first you need to apply uh, what is the force it's going to give uh, they are going to give 100 mm square so first get the force after applying 100 mm square stress equal to force by area get the force by applying 100 mm square substitute uh, in the place of uh, get the stress from that get the force and use it in Lamy's theorem and you will be able to get the answer first time it was uh, really for the people who are experts they had that uh, they set back for some time gave a thought and then they were able to go ahead this is the uh, again power of uh, Lamy's theorem fine yeah this is one of the beauty which we got in gate 2013 same way which we saw it in gate 2009 this particular question over here yeah this question same thing uh, angular acceleration of hinge rod <coughs> this is also the same thing angular acceleration or a velocity of uh, hinge rod so this is not going to be a simple reaction support question but they will have you will have to have this angular acceleration taken into account so yeah their gate tends to repeat the concepts as we have we have said before not the questions fine so this is going to be really simple apply Lamy's theorem at point b solve it get this is one mark from gate uh, 2014 set 2 this is going to be one mark question from gate 2014 next is again gate 2014 set 4 we have uh, one more question reaction pin joint is given as some weird type but doesn't matter it's going to apply only two reaction forces and not three obviously just take and uh, take it out so have it done you could use it using uh, Lamy's theorem because they are given the values uh, get the angle for this and you will be able to solve it for actually yes q yeah which is q s yes, fine next question is get 2015 set one pure Lamy's theorem man see how easy it is if you are going to know the Lamy's theorem you could get this uh, get the marks as c plus that fine even it might seem like a very difficult who oh, am i going to solve this question all those no nothing 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 like that very simple just see they have given 60 degrees and they have got 90 over here actually this is a right angle so it's going to be 150 degree between p and fpq and uh, likewise if we could solve it for 360 degrees you are going to get the angle solve it and get the answer man it's as simple as that see how simple is it they are trying to make it complicated by showing you some different kinds of shapes different kinds of process and frames but the answer the concept the way to solve everything is going to be the same as before that's the key over here in this particular topic okay yeah this is also going to be really simple apply Lamy's theorem on the point q point r and you'll be able to get sr fine next is like simple Lamy's theorem as always apply it on the point apply it on this particular point solve it and get the answer fine next is going to be uh, it might seem like a difficult question but answer is really simple apply Lamy's theorem on the rigid ball you are going to have three forces from there uh, external force by horizontal force own weight and the tension in the cable so we have three force apply Lamy's theorem straight get the answer no need to say anything about it okay directly you can apply Lamy's theorem on point Q yeah this might seem to be difficult but uh, they have given X modulus like E 70 GPA cross section length and all those stuff but it's going to be really easy man once you draw, draw a pin reaction over here they are going to confuse us but we are going to have our minds clear since we know the concept even if there is any kind of confusion created in the question you could be able to solve it as simple as that this is the power of knowing the concepts over here fine so just take out this particular reaction reaction over here uh, apply Lamy's theorem at point B we have uh, FAB FBC and force P you will be able to solve solve FAB this is going to be uh, very simple next is cupcake man really it's going to be really simple sometimes get come up with this kind of questions for self acting on a bent bar and all those stuff this is going to be fixed support so reactions and the moment okay fine next is like uh, as always get 2020 batches are going on enroll yourself before the seats get over limited seats are available fine this is gate 2018 set one might be a little uh, might seem like a little difficult question but do you remember the question which we did way back in 1994 over oh, here yeah, i'll just show you 
because uh, we need to know how the gate is setting their question so that it maintains its standard. So first question over here, the same thing, we have a mass here, we have the reactions and if you could come over here, we had the same thing. So no big difference at all. So yeah, over here. So no big difference at all. Take out the rigid bar, draw T1, T2 and its own weight, uh, weighing 100 Newton, draw its own weight, take moment about point S1, get the answer. If you could solve gate density, repeat the concepts but in a different way. See this is also one more practical example, people might find it difficult to apply at the start but get used to it by solving these kind of questions. Fine. Yeah, as I said earlier, it is get 2009, uh, weeks back uh, uh, we got this chance, we got this result two weeks. Uh, not two weeks actually, one week back we got the result but the question paper was before Feb, start of the Feb. Same question, get 2000, same type, there we had a, a force P applied, here we are going to have uh, and uh, what is the question, car having weight W is moving in the direction shown in the figure, center of gravity CG of the car is located at a height edge from the ground, midway between the front and the rear wheels, distance between front and the rear wheel is L, acceleration of the car is in, acceleration of the gravity is G, reaction on the front wheel and the reaction on the this one so since it's going to have this a m a the force is acting so that is going to come into play so r a r f weight w and a horizontal force in the direction of motion which is m a yeah again lamis theorem cupcake just take out apply the lamis theorem at point c and they have asked for the members b c and get the answer fine yeah one more important this is the i could say by uh, by far the most uh, concept based question because you could not solve this using Lamis theorem, you could not solve this using mother of section because we have no data, we can't even assume the particular angles over here, we can't assume it to be 45 degrees or something of that sort. But one thing is there, uh, they have asked for the uh, force in the member CD, assuming I am going to cut it over here like this, I am going to cut the section like this would have BC, uh, BD and C and even uh, section since we have section we have force 300 this bd force is meeting at point a so moment is zero the c force is meeting at point a moment is zero and cd is going to have some component which is at point a and we have no other forces obviously fc is going to be zero this is the most trickier question which could be asked and if you could have this particular knowledge since the, these kinds of questions weren't asked before this is how gate set standards once you know, uh, other than the case, you know the concept, you will not be able to solve this question at all. Uh, fine, after having all this analysis, what is the output uh, we are going to get? Uh, like for example, 80 percentage of the question which we saw now can be solved using FBD, free body diagram, reactions and supports and Lamis theorem, obviously. But to solve all the questions, you need to have a concepts as well as the knowledge on method of joints and method of sections. Fine, important thing coming to the important thing how what kind of questions can be uh, expected fine choosing a question from this topic is uh, we are going to leave it to the organizing committee which is iit delhi now if you want if the desired and if they want to ask some simple questions you'll be able to answer no doubt about it because if you know lamis theorem 80 percent of the questions are solved no doubt fine now if they want to make some uh, practical or trickier questions tricky questions what they will do they will start applying all the practical applications like I have uh, sorted it and I have given you as some points like crane lifting a car or the truck, uh, crane lifting a car using its anchor and uh, reaction on the cable in a cable car. We have a cable car in which car is hung using two joints. Okay, So we would have three force joints, we can apply Lamis theorem. A towing vehicle, many people would have seen a vehicle being towed. You might think like it is one wire but many a times we have uh, two wires coming in the front of the wheel being towed, Okay, sorry, vehicle being towed. Next is anchor thrown out of the ship, anchor, like to stop the ship we throw out a anchor. This kind of questions can be expected because uh, this kinds of practical applications, uh, people would find it hard to apply and get the answers. So we have chances and uh, question like this is also expected because it's kind of like concept based question. Even though that is one mark, we can expect it to come, okay. So yeah, fine, we have done with this. Use of this particular uh, analysis is that. Uh, you are now confident that with the help of FBD reactions and supports equilibrium Lamis theorem you could solve 80 percentage of the problem as such as simply as simple as that do you have confidence now by seeing all those questions this is what we have seen in gate now even more than that if you know the method of sections and method of joints you could solve many questions man 
this is how it is no more than this can be asked okay you need to have a stronger concepts on fbd equilibrium reactions and suppose lamis theorem method of joints method of friction once you have a stronger concept nothing more can be asked this is what is the result of having a analysis like this and going through the analysis like this uh, we are uh, coming up with the rest of the topics as soon as possible fine so and one more important thing is gate 2020 classroom batches is going on uh, just join before many classes go away and we have weekend batches which is saturday and sunday saturday is 5:30 pm to 8:30 pm sunday is 9 am to 5:30 pm and we, we have said already that uh, we are uh, refunding 60% of fee amount like uh, uh, actually our fee is 28000 but we refund 60% of the fee amount just pay 11200 start the classes complete the classes pass come up with flying marks flying colors then repay after you start earning okay that's the way we design that's the way we teach students you could come over here have an exposure of the expertise teaching you would have an experts so that you could gain more knowledge and gain more marks so fine